Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how to create a cause and effect diagram. So on, your, on the screen you can see I've got one already set up. So this is what I want to do. I'm just going to recreate this from scratch so you can see how it is used. Just do control N to get myself a new one. So when you select the cause and effect diagram from the templates, if I just go up there, file new, You've got this option and you can click on this and create and it drops it on the screen already with the causes in position. Now, if you don't want that as a start point, just delete that and create your own. So basically your stencil on the left has got all the shapes that you need. So I just bring the main one on, that's the effect. So this is going to be what has caused a loss of customers. So type that as the main effect. And then you've got different categories that you can add above or below. So just add a couple of categories on the top and a couple of categories on the bottom. They snap into position as you can see there. So let's just give some titles to this. So bad location is one reason. And this one can be takeaways, one reason. And pensioners is another reason. And the actual product selection or what's available is another reason so th those are your main categories now what you can do is add extra lines to them like this so if, if I want to um, stick a secondary cause onto this spin that round so this is location if I double click onto this I can just give it a title so um, no parking or just parking even is part of the reason and if I do another one on the other side just get it to stick in like that so it's sometimes called a fishbone diagram but this cause and effect is also used so if I say there's no parking bad location no footfall because it's around a corner and nobody can see it so that's the reason it's a bad location Product, um, let's go for poor choice of product. So, choice. And then let's go for another side. Doesn't really matter which one you pick of these, you can just position them anyhow. Says me. Just till they snap into place. Choice and quantity so let's go for quantity like so so that's that one then pensioners so this is the age demographics so let's say that initially lots of people used to use these type of shops but um, dying off so they're the main people that use this shop now they're dying off and let's have another one on the other side so spin that round and let's say um, another reason is supermarkets uh, not so su yeah supermarkets supermarkets people are going to supermarkets instead of the local shops and then the last set let's go for this one um, Spin that round. Takeaways, and this will be the biggest killer of all. Deliveries. People don't even have to come out to the shops anymore. They can order a takeaway and it's delivered, and it's the reason why you lose customers. Now you've also got this fish frame. If I just pull this on, this just puts everything in a nice little frame for you, which you can 
color in the line change the line color if you want to make it red and you can add a couple of effects like shadow shadow effects or something like that that'll do and there's your cause and effect diagram which is now not sitting right because of that we can just make it a little bit bigger in fact that's probably wants to go up so it's got the point of the fish in line with that which is just about now you can also put a background on this so if I go to design you've got backgrounds I'll just show you a background make it blue that'll do and then you've got borders and titles let's put that one on so when you put a border on in Visio, a background uh, or a title it goes as a separate page which you have to get into to edit it so the title for this is loss of customers so that's the title that's already got the date on and then you come back to page one and then you're looking for that title at the top there now because I've, I've dropped this onto two pages if I bring this down a bit you can get it onto one page fish itself is a bit big still it's about as small as I can get it um, without changing all of this so basically that's a quick look at how to create a cause and effect diagram or a fishbone diagram very simple very easy you're just using it to work out or put some ideas down why you are losing customers and these are what you have come up with there's only four as default on this example but you can have as many as you want as long as it doesn't get too complicated but hopefully that was of use to you and that's all i want to talk about in this little session so thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one